Hello, welcome to Develop with Chaminder. My name is Chaminder Chandrasekhar. Today, let's see how easily we can generate a gitigno file using Visual Studio Code based on the languages that we are used to develop our project. In my VS Code, I have installed gitigno generator by Peter Palas. I have some C# -sharp code developed here. So let's see how we can uh, use a gitigno because, uh, as you can see here in source control, we are trying to commit a lot of unwanted files. So we just want to commit the required code only. So if I press Control shift p in visual studio code i can immediately see generate gitigno file so this is because i have often used it but you can search it using generate gitigno file and once you click on that it will start showing you uh, the details of the uh, software or like tools that you are using so we can search for ASP.NET core which is i'm using in this project and I can search for .NET Core as well. And if I want, I can enable Visual Studio filtering as well. So it will ignore any file generated uh, locally by Visual Studio. And I can say I want to use language C Sharp as well. Without filtering this, you can uh, scroll and see as well. So you can scroll like this and see. So we have to select C Sharp, okay. We'll select C sharp as well and click OK. Once we do that, it quickly generates a gitigno file with our selections and you can go and amend it for sure. You can see it ignoring the unnecessary local files and only committing the required files. So now we can stage these files and put a comment and make our commit.